Hello internet people! Are you not sure what AMP stands for and if you should even install it on your website? Well in this video I'll go through the benefits and the drawbacks of AMP so accelerated mobile pages and based on that you can make a decision if you need it on your website. It's showtime! Tip sweat punch! In summary Google's AMP or accelerated mobile pages are like normal web pages but they're stored at Google and they are loaded super fast because of that. Now they're so lightweight that they actually don't have the full JavaScript, CSS and HTML support and they follow certain rules that Google has come up with. And usually AMP just runs alongside of your normal website. But when user comes on their mobile and there's an AMP page actually available Google will serve the AMP page. Now if you're using WordPress you're in luck because it's super easy to install a plugin and have your AMP pages in within 10 minutes basically. If you're not using WordPress and you're building it in HTML or CSS well you need to know a bit of that coding languages so that you can build it. It's nothing special there's just some rules you need to follow. Now you're probably thinking is AMP really for me? Do I need it? I have a small website. Well, let's go through the benefits and the drawbacks. Enough talk! The biggest benefit is obviously the load speed. And an article of Moss shows how different websites improve their metrics, like more traffic and higher conversions, just by installing AMP. The second benefit is that actually AMP is an initiative by Google, and in the search results, you see this little icon with the lightning, and that indicates that it's AMP page. Right now AMP does not directly improve your website's SEO but higher load times do. And I feel like one day AMP might become an SEO ranking factor as well. Arnie, what do you think? You lie! What about the cons of AMP? Well, the biggest con I see is that actually you have very limited CSS and HTML and JavaScript that you can use. That means that the user experience is very simple there's no animations, nothing like that, it's just plain vanilla. The second con of using AMP is actually you're gonna start getting these errors once you start using AMP. And you'll get notifications from Google Search Console. Some will come and go by themselves, some will stay and you will need to actually fix them. So be prepared to fiddle with AMP a little and just keep in mind that you will essentially have two separate websites to maintain in terms of the code. And some of you might be already doing this. Why are you running? Why are you running? But the errors are not as bad as they seem. Now the third con is that AMP is so limited with JavaScript is that actually tracking uh, ads and things like that gets a bit more tricky once you get started with AMP. Now these are getting better and actually you can quite easily with WordPress plugins add these things in. But the thing is it's still additional worry for you. And the last con is actually that you're giving away your page to Google. So the page will be stored at Google and they can do anything with it. Now obviously they will use it in a good manner but it just means you have less control over what happens on the page. So should you get AMP pages on your website? Personally I think yes you should, especially if you have a lot of traffic on mobile phones. If you have mostly on desktop then maybe you don't need to worry about that. Personally I don't mind the disadvantages because the advantage is so strong. I truly think a quick loading website is much better for the user than if there's a few animations in there. But I strongly recommend using AMP only on like blog posts or if you have a media website then on article pages but nowhere else. So if you have a web shop don't use it on your product pages or your listers or if you have a landing page with your clients with a complicated JavaScript that needs to track these clients then don't even think about AMP. But if you just want to put your blog on AMP that's perfectly fine and actually I would encourage you to do so. And that's it, that's what I think about AMP. So please leave your thoughts about AMP in the description so that we can start talking about why you think it's good or bad. 
My name is Robert and if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about how to improve your website, get more traffic and other website related stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe Ding button dong. so you don't miss out on anything. Here are two videos that I think you should watch next. Whoosh!